We are expanding again. We just acquired a new building. Let me show you where our new office will be. Hey Tom, it's the one and only Floyd Money Mayweather. First I want to say congratulations on your YouTube channel. Everybody needs to follow your YouTube channel. So what everyone needs to do is subscribe to Tom Pang. Great guy, great person. Tom, keep up the great work. Let me show you inside. Our, our companies are growing and we need more office space. So we've been looking for office buildings to buy or lease. And this is our first acquisition. This entire building is now going to house our operation. Uh, we still have the Vietjet Plaza office where we have about 300 employees working out of that office. And now we have this building and we're gonna fill it with people. And I expect that uh, my, my enterprise will have about 500 employees by the end of the year. And that's a conservative estimate. So it potentially it could be a thousand because uh, I, I have a huge plan here, man. I have a huge plan here. This will not be the uh, only building that uh, we are going to buy or lease. Uh, I'm looking at around 10 buildings around Ho Chi Minh City. And uh, we're gonna have operations across the city. Uh, let me take you inside and show you what the building looks like. This is all brand new, okay? Brand new building. Let me show you what it looks like inside. So this is the first floor, all right? Uh, so you, when you walk in, it's all completely empty because it's all brand new. The elevator here, this is seven floors, right? Seven floors. The first floor, and there's another elevator there. There's another elevator, so there's two elevators in this building, wide open, just waiting for us to, uh, you know, renovate putting whatever we want, right? And let me take you outside. This has a nice courtyard in the back, all right? A nice courtyard in the back. Uh, see, this place, you can use it as a place for employees to have like a patio, you know, this could be somewhere they have like lunch and uh, coffee breaks, or, you know, um, they can have a separate entrance here as well. So there's a back entrance. This is all public land, so shared common land. So employees can come in here as well, right? And there's another entryway there. Uh, there's, a, there's a power generator, a diesel power generator here. So it's a kind of important here in Vietnam. You gotta have, you know, power backup because sometimes the power go out and you gotta kickstart the generator so that, you know, uh, the office is not interrupted. Um, and of course, over there, on the first floor, we have, you know, the, 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 the toilets, the washrooms, the girl boy washrooms, we're not gonna go in there. But uh, let me show you the parking area, okay? Let's go down to the basement, and let's see a little bit of, oh, it's getting dark in here, man. Let's see a little bit of um, the parking space. So I don't know how to turn the light on. Oh, hey, maybe that's, that, this is the light switch. Uh, no, I don't know how to turn the light on. But this space area here, which is actually quite big, is, it's all dark in there. So we're not gonna go in there. But there's more space in there. And, uh, and there's more space in here. And there's more space in here. There's a lot of parking space for motorbikes, all right? For motorbikes. And uh, for cars, uh, I, I guess it's, it's, it's possible, but you can also park across the street. Uh, there's a, there's an there's a area where on the street you can park. So, uh, let's go back to the first floor. All right, let's go back to the first floor. See, they're, they're figuring out all the details uh, of, of this uh, building transfer. Uh, elevator, elevator. Yeah, let's not go, so go by the elevator. Let's go up by stair stairway, okay? So we're gonna go to the second floor, all right? Our second floor. This is gonna be uh, a tour 
of our new second office here in Ho Chi Minh City. So this is the second floor. This is like a, you know, you get a, you get a window view here. All right, you can see downstairs. And then uh, the second floor is a little bit smaller just because I don't know why they structured it this way. But this is the second floor. And uh, here is more space here. All right. And then uh, I don't know if I can access this door. It's my building, but it doesn't mean that I have access, right? Oh, yeah. And then I love this part because look, this is all common area. This is like a, this is a small pantry area. You know, employees can, you know, have make the coffee here or whatever. Oh, well, let's check out the toilets. Why not? Okay. So this is like a. I don't know. I don't know. This is like. Uh, I assume this is the girl toilet. I mean the girl toilet. Let's see. Let's see what the girl toilet looks like. Oh. Oh, wow. So that's how they pee. Okay. Now, let's, let's, let's look at the boy toilet. Okay. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, uh, this I understand more. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, and that's where you poo. Let's go to the uh, uh, floor, so let's go to floor, no, oh, let's go to floor number three. And also there's two stairways, right? There's two stairways. So there's one stairway where we came up over there, and then there's another stairway. There's two stairways. So two elevator, two stairways. Many ways to access this building, all right? Uh, oh, and then there's a small balcony out here as well. So there's a lot of balcony space. Let's, let's, let's see if we can get out there. Oh yes, we can, look at that. This is another balcony space. All right, so there's a lot of balcony space in this building, which I love because I want, you know, the employees to be able to, you know, go out there, have a five, 10 minute break, drink coffee, you know, and get some sunlight, right? Let's go up to the third floor using the stairs, okay? So we are gonna go up to the third floor. I'm excited, man. It's like, uh, I want to buy 10 buildings like this one in Ho Chi Minh City for our own use, for the expansion of our companies, as well as the investments. So, so I'm looking to buy 10 buildings. All right, I don't think I need to show you the toilet. I'm looking to buy 10 buildings. So I know there's a lot of real estate people that watch my channel, right? A lot of real estate sales people watch my channel because I provide very good sales training, all right? So this is the third floor. So the third floor is bigger than the second floor, all right? So again, there's a space here. And look at how deep this goes. This is really, really deep. They, they all, uh, from two to six, they all look the same, all right? From the, second floor, from the third floor to the sixth floor, they all look the same. And then here is more work area. And uh, oh, I'm excited. And there's a window you can look outside. All right, so I'm gonna quickly go through uh, three, four, five, six, because they're all laid out the same way. But let me just go close that door, all right? Because I opened it and I should close it. This is all ours, man. This is all, oh yeah. <laughs> I thought I saw a sorry. Uh, no, I'm not sorry. Talk to you, Uh I've been seeing a lot of cockroaches lately. I don't know why, like everywhere I see there's cockroach. But you know, Vietnamese people believe, I, I don't know, I, I don't, I'm not superstitious, but you know, Vietnamese people believe that if you see a lot of cockroach, you're gonna be rich. Well, if that's true, then, oh man, I'm gonna be rich. All right, let's go to the third floor. Mm. Or the fourth floor, I can't, I, I lost count. So let's go to the fourth floor. Oh, so many good things happening here, man. I can see that, wow, this is gonna be a huge operation coming out of this building. And then, uh, look at, I don't know if you can see outside the view, but this is the third floor. All right, third floor looks like this, and third floor has a more of a view outside, okay? And then, uh, of course, you get the best view up on top on the seventh floor. Uh, I, I'm not gonna show you too much because they all look the same. Again, like the third, four, five, six floors, they are laid out exactly the same way. This is number four. Oh, uh, that's right. This is, this is like a fourth floor, right? 
This is like forceful, I don't know, I lost count. But it looks exactly the same, so we're not gonna talk too much here. Let's go up to number five. Oh, that's a lot of walking for me, man. Good exercise. I mean, like, I don't get enough exercise at night, so I don't, I don't know what, what, uh, why I need more exercise. You know, fuck all night, right? And then, look at that! Look at this beautiful, beautiful balcony, right? What a waste of space! We could use this and build a meeting room or something, but no, this is great. This is great because uh, this is again a beautiful space, nice view of the city. Employees come here, have you know coffee, have a break, get to know each other, team building, whatever, right? I care about that kind of stuff. I love balconies. Every office I have had in Vietnam, they have balconies. I don't know why. I just I just need offices with balconies. That makes me feel. Good. That makes me feel like I have a cool office. Right? Okay, let's go to uh, uh, floor six. Again, on the sixth floor, there's another balcony. It's really, really a big, big balcony. Oh boy. I don't think we can use this balcony. Look at the, look at the, the ground here. You will fall through to the, to the floor below, right? I, I don't know what we're gonna do with that. Oh, that, that's, not a, that's not a safe balcony. All right, we'll figure out how to do that one. We'll figure out what to do with that space. And I, I will show you the last floor of this building, all right? Oh, somebody's working here. I don't know what they're doing. Let's find out. Hello. Hello. Somebody's painting the wall. Uh, work has already started. And uh, this is our balcony on the seventh floor. And this is from the seventh floor. You get, really get the best view. Here. Oh, there's actually another floor up there. Like, we gotta find out what that is. Is that the roof? I don't know. But I, I gotta know my building, right? So this floor is a little bit smaller, and uh, but generally it's the same structure, right? So there's workspace here. I think this would be great for like uh, some kind of. Uh, recreational room for uh, for the team right so like maybe ping pong table whatever and look at this fuck me look at this another balcony why is there so many balconies in this building man i love balconies you know and look at how deep this goes holy fuck i mean if if, if people work here we can't find them because it's so big and, and there's so many balconies. Where's, where, where's Fook? Where's Fook? I don't know. Somewhere in the building, in some balcony, right? Toilet. Very important. You gotta have toilets, all right? Okay, let's go to the next floor. Oh, shit. Fuck me. This is truly the room. I haven't seen this before yet. Woo. Oh, motherfucker. I... I didn't even know we have this. Holy shit. Look at that, guys. Look at that, guys. This whole space. What are we gonna use this for? Holy. I, I, I don't even know how to use all the space, man. Like, uh, like, uh, I could build a bedroom and have sex here all night. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I, fuck. I don't know. Oh, there's so much space. I'm, I'm crazy. Uh, look at that. That's looking towards District 1. Into the distance, that's the uh, uh, big textile tower over there. So there's a little green church over there. Oh, and the location is like, it couldn't be better than this because we're in the center of Ho Chi Minh City. This is in the Phu Nguyen District, right? Phu Nguyen District. And uh, we're really in the center of Ho Chi Minh City. Look, look over there. That's... Uh, that's center point over there. That, that building over there is center point, all right? Uh, this really is in the center of Ho Chi Minh City. Why we pick this location? Because, you know, it's easy for employees to access, right? Whether you're coming in from District 12, District 9, District 8, District 4, you know, it really is in the center of, you know, Ho Chi Minh City. It's equal distance from anywhere else in Ho Chi Minh City or well, not equal distance but it's accessible meaning you're not like taking a, an hour motorbike to get to work right so maximum you're like riding 30 maybe 
like if you really live really really far maybe 45 minutes but usually you can probably no matter where you live you can get into the office you know within 30 minutes and, and that is important right that is important because you know the traffic in Ho Chi Minh City is not that awesome right uh, and nobody likes to be stuck in a traffic jam uh, so we want to be as central as possible so all right let me talk about my real estate plan so also I want to announce here that uh, yes Tom Peng is getting into real estate and this is our first move right this is our first move into real estate here in Vietnam but we will not stop here and we already have plans that people looking and scouring and uh, you know finding uh, office buildings across Ho Chi Minh City we're looking for buildings to buy or lease uh, if the price is right we'll buy it if uh, you know if they don't want to sell we're happy to lease the entire building for 10 20 years all right so so we're looking for buildings to buy or lease well I want 10 buildings like this or you know five buildings but twice as big each building right so I want a lot of space I want a lot of space that we will use ourselves as well as you know like a potentially lease out and we'll use these buildings as a investment a long-term investment uh, I, I told you that don't do real estate that's for you because you don't have money I have a lot of money so I can do real estate all right and I expect to make a lot of money from this as well like everything that I do so you know I've been in Vietnam here doing business for the last four years there's a lot of people that doubt me right a lot of people say oh Tom he's gonna fail Tom is crazy Tom is delusional I just want you to know this all right this is all fucking real every part of this is fucking real I don't know this feels pretty real to me so for those people that call me crazy, delusional, well, first of all, I thank you. You're absolutely right. I'm crazy and delusional because I don't think like you, all right? And when I don't think like you, you think I'm crazy and delusional, but actually, I live in the fucking reality. And my reality is pretty, pretty good, all right? I drive fast cars, I drive fast motorbikes, I live in villas, I'm buying buildings, buying office buildings, commercial real estate here in Ho Chi Minh City. I've built very successful companies, not just in Vietnam, I have multiple in Vietnam, and I never talk about my global operation. I mean, I, I wish I could tell you how much money I make, man, but I can't, so I won't. I shouldn't. Only I know how much money I make. My life is pretty good, my life is real, my life is fulfilling. I'm making a difference. My lifestyle is really good. Lots of fast women, fast cars, beautiful cars, beautiful villas, beautiful office space. More importantly, we're doing something you know, really meaningful. We're changing the e-commerce landscape here in Vietnam, and we're looking across Southeast Asia, right? We're building financial technology software that's benefiting you know, like the whole industry. I'm doing so much more than that, and I, you know, Maybe I'll share with you another time, but this is all real, and I love every part of it. I love my life. Like I said, I would never want to change my life with anybody. So I would certainly not want to switch place with you. Or most people, I, no, like no. I, I love my life so much. I love me. All right, me, me, me. Good. My life is good, even though you may disagree. You, you have your own opinions. You, you, you think you define what is crazy or delusional, right? But I just want you to know. Maybe you're the crazy delusional one because everything you think is wrong. That's why you're still poor. That's why you're still in poverty. That's why you're still fucking useless. Maybe you don't even have a job. Maybe you're barely making 13 million dong a month. And how do you even live on that, guys? How do you even live on that? You know, if I lived on 13 million dong a month, I fucking kill myself. 13 million dong is what I pay for a dinner at El Gucho, all right? I do that three times a week. So, you know, who is fucking delusional, right? So for all those people that criticize me, that doubt me, that didn't believe in me, say bad shit about me on the internet, all I have to say is fuck you. Live poorly for the rest of your life because you fucking deserve it because you haven't woken up yet because you do not know what is real and you do not understand the path to success. And I can only hope that you have a teeny bit of IQ that you can learn this stuff. Watch more of my videos, watch more of my videos because 
you know, I, I tell you everything. Like I just share with you everything I know. Like no holds barred, right? I don't, I don't hide anything from you. Well, aside from you know, how much money I have, I don't, I, don't, I don't think I need to tell you that. But really, I tell you how successful mindset is. And I think that it really is the most important thing. And the reason why I started this channel is because I see so few of it, so little of it here in Vietnam. Most people are just fucking fucktards. You know, they don't believe they can do it. They don't believe they can do it for their company and they drag the whole team down and then they destroy their team, they destroy their company and they blame me and tell me I'm delusional. Fuck off, right? Take fucking action. If I can do it, anyone can do it. And uh, it's all just mindset, system processes, and, and take fucking action, right? Don't be a fucktard! So once again, calling out to real estate agents, I am looking for 10 buildings and I'm looking for people to collaborate with. If you wanna work on this venture with me, come talk to me. If you wanna be a finder and look for buildings for me, great. You know, we uh, of course pay commissions and stuff like that, right? So uh, if you're in real estate, you're an agent, connect with me somehow, you know, start with the comments below, right? And uh, you know, I am desperately, I wanna do this within the next three months. I wanna buy 10 buildings in the next three months. Can you help me? There's money in it.